Hello traders, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about daily stock market update and we will figure out is it still bullish trend? Let's do technical analysis review and we will figure out. Now it's the time for 5 rules of risk management. Please read it and follow it every single trade and you will be successful. Now it's the time for trading view. Let's move to my stock market heat map based on all USA companies, market cap, daily performance. Looks like everything green and gray. Bullish trend only Tesla red. Everything else bullish. Now let's move to my watch list and we'll do technical analysis review. Now looks like market is green. Market is green and bullish because Fed didn't didn't raise the rate and market is happy about that. Market is happy about it unchanged interest rate now let's do uh, if you want to learn more about trading view setup just go to the description there is the link about trading view setup training and other links about all my trainings now let me briefly mention about my setup i'm using simple moving averages white line sma 200 purple, purple line sma 100 blue line SMA 50, yellow line SMA 20, red line SMA 10, green line SMA 5. Below are RSI line indicator and Hekanachi bars indicator. That's all very simple. How it works? Look at it. SMA 5 green line did bullish crossover over red line. It's a bull, it was bullish trend, right? When bars above SMA 5, bullish trend. When SMA5 did bearish crossover, bars move below SMA5, was bearish trend, was very bearish trend for a few days, and now it's a bullish again. Like four days ago, we did bullish crossover, and it's again bullish on all indicators. Now, last bar disconnected from all, all moving averages, bullish trend. Still, price action is still uptrend, still RSI has bearish divergence so far. It's not destroyed yet. Bullish trend on daily. Let's see four hours time frame for Qs. Straight bullish trend, no changes. Yeah, yeah. no changes. Bullish trend, bullish crossover, and one hour time frame. Let me one hour time frame. Trade bullish trend that has bearish divergence on RSI even on one hour time frame. You see price action bullish, one hour time frame bearish. Looks like it's today it should be reversed. Should be reversed because it has bearish divergence even on one hour time frame. Now let's move to DXY, USA dollar very negative because interest was not changed. And you say dollar did sell off, sell signal, bearish reversal, and it is bullish for equities. Bullish for equities, right? Remember, I told you SMA 20 yellow line did ready for bearish crossover over 200. It is very negative bearish setup. That's why I still believe it will be bearish, or it should be very powerful bull run to bring SMA 20 back to bullish. So uptrend direction. So far it's bearish and it's bullish for equities. Now, yeah, Qs still bullish, right? No changes. VXN volatility index for Qs for NASDAQ. Bearish, still bearish, new low, bullish divergences. They definitely it wants to bounce, but so far it is still bearish bearish and it's bullish for Qs. S&P 500 daily time frame bullish crossover and you see it did destroy it divergence no more divergence look at it you see it was it is bullish trend very powerful bullish run on daily time frame RSI already destroyed divergences no divergences bullish trend for our time frame let's see for our time frame still has some divergence it's not it's not destroyed yet for hours bullish trend with bearish divergences 
and one hour time frame bullish trend and it create today bearish divergence you see this is price action bullish on one hour time frame and RSI has bearish divergence bullish trend market is happy VIX, VIX plus one percent, VIX very low. It's a multi year low with bullish divergences. You see, VIX make, made a new low yesterday and today, and RSI has bullish divergence. It wants to bounce from this low level. So far, still bearish. It's bullish for SP 500. Dow Jones straight bullish. Dow Jones very bullish, very powerful. You see, it reached all time high. Did it make new all time high? I don't think so. Maybe it did. It's very close. It is at the same level. And it has huge bearish divergence, right? It's a monthly time frame. <laughs> it definitely wants to reverse from double top. Uh, bullish trend RSI very overbought, way overbought. Definitely wants to have correction. Four hours time frame, bullish trend, bearish divergence on RSI, and RSI in the overbought territory. One hour time frame, bullish trend, RSI just flat. Still bullish trend for Dow Jones. DXY flat today no changes still actually it's still bullish right dxy is still bullish dx vxd i'm sorry vxd volatility index for dow jones iwm iwm bullish trend rsi did bullish crossover not rsi uh simple moving averages yellow line sma 20 did bullish crossover, it is bullish setup. RSI also bullish. Bullish trend. Four hours time frame. Bullish trend, bullish crossover. RSI has bearish divergence. It wants to have correction. Trend still bullish. One hour time frame, bullish crossover, bullish trend. Bullish trend and, and bearish divergences. If you check. Price action is uptrend right on one hour and RSI still downtrend. Bearish divergence, it wants to have correction. RBX plus one and a half percent, it is bullish but still in the bearish territories. Apple, very powerful today, plus 1.40 percent bull run and it still creates bearish di bearish divergence definitely it wants to have correction bullish trend four hours also bullish trend with bearish divergence and one hour time frame one hour time frame it destroyed already divergences still bullish trend tesla tesla minus one percent today Last bar moved below all moving averages except 250. Bearish reversal on our sign Hikanachi. Looks like it wants to, yeah, it, it, it is bearish. Four hours time frame for Tesla, also bearish. One hour time frame for Tesla. It was bearish, but it did bounce by signal still in the bearish territory. Amazon plus half percent, Tesla was minus one percent. Amazon plus half percent. Let's start daily. Daily flat, flat price action for several days, around like two weeks. No changes, bearish divergences. Flat bullish trend with bearish divergences. Four hours time frame. Four hours time frame, bullish trend with bearish divergences, multiple bearish divergences. 
and uh, one hour time frame bullish trend on moving averages last bar above all moving averages bullish trend rs yeah still bullish trend and it has bearish divergences right nvidia plus one and a half percent let's see daily ma5 did bullish crossover last bar now about all moving averages bullish trend it did bounce from ma50 and sma50 and 100 rsi just did bullish crossover bullish crossover ma5 did bullish crossover over 10 and 20 also bullish trend for nvidia on daily Four hours time frame same bullish crossover bullish trend and one hour time frame bullish trend on all indicators with bearish divergences microsoft plus quarter percent still bullish run yeah let's start daily ma5 ready for bullish crossover bu ready for bullish run Four hours time frame, my five is bullish crossover over 20, bullish trend on all indicators, and one hour time frame, bullish trend for Microsoft also. Baba Alibaba group, let's start daily. Daily last bar below all moving averages, very bearish trend. Minus 1%. 4 hours time frame, same story, last bar below all moving averages, bearish trend. And 1 hour time frame, same bearish location, bearish trend on all indicators. That's all. USA dollar, let's do summary. USA dollar just did huge bearish reversal because interest rate was not raised by Fed and Fed. Fed told us that they, they are expecting to raise a rate this year, but they didn't. And market is so happy about that. Market is bullish. Use, yeah, all indexes, all equities still bullish for, uh, yeah, all, all equities still bullish and all indexes still bullish. No changes. And dollar is bearish. Dollar bearish, Baba, Baba bearish in my watch list. Bearish dollar, it's a bullish for equities and indexes. That's all. Now let's move to my disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. This video for educational and informational purposes only. Remember, for educational purposes, we are using Paper Training Simulator. Thank you for watching Simple Trading Style videos. I do publish daily, weekly, monthly updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes, and cryptos. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Click like button to support this channel. I really appreciate all your efforts. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.